Huh? How hard was the decision to make? Uh, I love it. Uh, there were points where I really thought about it, like if I was ready to go at it again. But after a month, I wanted to take a month or two months before deciding. Uh, but after a, a while, I, I watched the NBA Finals, uh, talked to TD and Bob, so that we signed the big fella. Uh, and they, you know, I started to, to feel those things. And I, I wasn't ready to be a next player. So I, I, I decided to, to keep going because I, uh, I wanted to take this challenge. It was exciting enough. Did you talk to the guys here throughout your process of making that decision, or did they kind of just stand back and let you be? I, I talked a little bit to TD and Bob, especially. Um, TD mainly before I left, um, with Bob a little bit joined, or right before making the decision. Um, you know, the, the fact of being, being wanted and needed to also helped. Uh, and when they both talked to me about it too, you know, made me feel good and and that it wasn't to like a charity thing. Like so let's bring the old man back. He's <laughs> been here for so long and part of the you know the, the, the rings or the banners. So you know the fact that they you know they told me that they needed me, that they wanted me back and and then me feeling all the you know what I felt like watching the finals or or uh, after I started to miss the game, uh, you know, made it easier than, than before that. You come back your... and then Aldridge and West and, and the, I mean, there's always expectations of the championship here, but is there a different feel to this year? I think it is. Uh, there is. Uh, we're coming from a, a tough loss uh, in the game seven overtime with a crazy shot. And we, we still think we, we had a good shot, but then with was almost the same team. Not the same team, but, you know, but uh, players like uh, Marcus and, and David, especially, are great too, and, uh, and the other guys. So uh, it makes it, you know, exciting. I sometimes you need a little, a little change, a little shake. Uh, that's not a little. When you see that, you know, the Marcus Aldridge is part of the team, it's not that little shake anymore. Uh, so it's very exciting, and you have high expectations as always. Do you remember where you were, what you were doing when you heard Marcus is definitely, he's definitely in. Well, I was I was in touch with with everybody, and, and I knew they traveled to to Los Angeles, and they had lunch with him, and how they go, and what he thought, and then you know start following the the whole uh, thing. Uh, and there was a point where, where they were very optimistic. You still have to wait. Uh, but then on Twitter, you see the first. Uh, rumors that you know, he might be choosing our side, and I, uh, of course, I was very excited. Very excited. Um, a week later, or five days later, I heard about David that it was more of a shocker than than, right. than Lamarcus because you know we were talking about him for the whole time, but uh, we didn't expect much you know, to sign a guy like him. So both conditions were great for us and gave us a. Great combination of athleticism, toughness, experience, youth. Uh, it's, it's, it's a great thing. Did, did, did you do anything different preparation wise to get your body ready to, to go through this again? Uh, no, I was pretty satisfied with the way it went last year physically. Uh, I didn't have injuries, or I'm, the, the one I had, I missed four games. And most of the rest were just rest, yeah, okay. back to backs and stuff. So I, I, I try to be careful with the food as always, and treatments, and you know, weights more on a balance and core thing. So no, basically the, the same as the year before. And what are your expectations now, Mata? Individual? Individual and for, and for this team. Uh, the, main, the main ones are team related. <laughs> uh, I want to do good, uh, make a long playoff run, try to get another championship. Individually, uh, I want to help the team to get to the point. I want to stay healthy, and uh, on a more psychological level, uh, I want to enjoy the ride. Uh, I want to. I think I did it much better in the last two years, but I, you know, I want to. I want to enjoy day to day. Only, not only the getting to the finish line, 
but you know the, the way to I think it's very important I've got eight long months and, uh, and I'm pretty sure that when it's over I'm gonna miss it whenever it happens uh, so I, I want to enjoy the everyday of the NBA. So, is it, so the, much is it the last ride get? for you though Mano? Second? Do you get the feeling that this is the last ride for you this season? Uh, I don't know. I haven't said You're it. Ready. You're yeah. not ready to make that commitment uh, yet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Why? Why should I make the commitment now? Because we're all no. here. Yeah. <laughs> good, good answer. Uh, it's 10 months away or so. Uh, I don't have to. Uh, so I'll be, I'll go, the last few seasons I've been going day by day, seeing if I enjoy it, I keep going, if I uh, keep feeling the same yeah, things yeah, yeah, yeah. before games, after games, the same thrill. And so far it's, it's been happening, so uh, I'm not going to say it before time, but it wouldn't make any sense.